So today's the day. I've just arrived to Port Palm Beach and uh, I'm a little nervous. Now, I'll tell you why in a second. I've just got my COVID test done. Well, first, when I got here, we did valet parking, a long line, and then we had to check in, which was a, a lo another long line, and then we had to go get the COVID test, which was a very long line. One thing I will say, guys, if, if you're going to come to Bahamas Paradise, or sorry, when it becomes Margaritaville at sea, uh, I really hope they tighten up the lines because if they're doing like 50% capacity, I'm not sure what they're doing right now, I can't confirm, but if they end up doing 100, it's going to take hours. It might even take a day or two for everybody to get on the ship. They, they got to work on that. Now, the reason I'm worried is because I typically board a cruise ship with my passport, but I don't have it because I'm going to get renewed. So now I'm going to be checking in with my birth certificate and I'm worried it's not the right one. Just got through security. Now we got to check in our luggage right down the hall here we go the moment of truth so right now we're gonna go ahead and what we usually do is give them our passport in a second here but i guess here we go with the birth certificate and the the driver's license wish me luck i'm extremely nervous they have it labeled u.s passport and birth certificate by the way for those of you that are new around here this is not my first time boarding bahamas paradise grand classica i was here on this ship about a year ago and uh there were 98 people on board so uh i guess here for the last sale and it looks like there's gonna be a lot more than 98 so should be fun might be in some trouble guys you already asked if it was the original passport and uh, honestly i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna make this one yeah so uh basically what happened is um well they're not gonna let me sail first of all because they're telling me that the birth certificate that i have is not valid because i don't have a lifted seal the raised seal that you would get on a birth certificate but meanwhile, I know there are other cruise lines out there. Maybe it's just Carnival, but I've heard from other, other lines as well that they don't really, they don't care. You know, it can be a copy. But as of right now, they're telling me that I can't, I can't get on. So I'm going to wait around, try to make some phone calls, see what I can do. So I have my friend Billy. You guys remember Billy? Cruise Habit, Billy and Larissa. Make sure you subscribe to their channel. They're on the other side of the road because, unfortunately, at this point in time, I have been denied boarding. I cannot get on Bahamas Paradise Grand Classica. But, uh... Thankfully, we got Billy here, self-included. We're trying to make some calls, see who we can contact since I have been on this ship before. And uh, we'll see. Time will tell. With our powers combined, we made it work. We got in! Now we're getting on a ship! <sighs> that was by far one of the most stressful experiences of my life. But it's kind of like the ship threw up on the outside. So you know how normally you'd have like the shore excursions and everything as soon as you walk in and... You can order drink packages extra if you hadn't got any prior to the cruise and they got it all right here on the outside right before we even board the ship now this is different i just talked to that really nice man over there and he's essentially saying we got to come here kind of like a i guess is this is this like the is this like a boat drill what is this billy is this is this kind of like a boat drill or something uh, yeah, it's a right. monster drill. So, yeah, but the monster drill. The oh, guys, so we watched the safety drill outside. Now, when I was here less than a year ago, this was not here. Maybe they're doing this in preparation for Margarita Village. See, here's something that's really confusing. We're sitting here watching this TV. But they're not telling us how long we stay here. They don't tell us when the, when the starting point is. We're not really getting a lot of information. After a lot of stress and frustration, guys, we are finally heading to the ship. We are back on board the Grand Classica. By the way, it's Easter, guys. Take a look. Now, Gavin, I'm gonna show you guys around. Now, just FYI, guys, I've been on this ship before. I did like a full ship tour. I'm not doing it again. I literally have a whole category of Bahamas Paradise videos, so make sure you go check them out. Link in the description box below. I kind of miss this ship. Oh, excuse me. We can take our mask off now. I kind of miss this ship. It really does feel good to be back. So we won't beat around the bush here today. I'm gonna go straight to my room. We've already, I guess, done the safety drill, the mustard drill, and uh, we'll go from there. My room's on deck six. I think this is us. 6120, yep. All right, here we go. First time, first walk in. Now I got an interior this time because, well, there aren't a lot of balconies on this ship. I had an ocean view last time. Oh, hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to give all of you a brief room tour because, well, there is not much to see here. And honestly, I want to go explore the rest of the ship and, well, get some food because I'm hungry. Now, as you can see, like places over here before we see the entire room, it looks like there was a painting there at some point. That's because the room has started to get stripped all in anticipation for the redecoration, remodeling, refurbishing for Margaritaville at Sea, which this cruise ship will soon become. 
Margarita Village. See, I'm really excited, but we'll talk about that later. Now, let's talk about this bed here, and we'll work our way around the room. The bed is not uncomfortable. However, it's a little firm, and I like my beds to be, you know, soft. That way I can jump on it. Anyway, we also have some shelves here. Now, the weird thing about these beds is that, yes, this ship is pretty old. 1991 is when it was built, so there's no outlets over here. You do have some light switches over there, which is a very random place. I remember last time I stayed in one of these beds, I was kind of like accidentally touching those, and they're not really sensitive. However, I would imagine somebody could accidentally turn a light on or off. Let me just show you guys real quick. So, here. <clears throat> Right here, if you press these buttons, they do control like switches all around the room. So you got this one right here. You got this guy. Oh, I'm not really sure that's oh. Those over there. There's two of those lamps with this other bed switch here. And I believe this is the master. Oh no. So you have to control all of them by themselves individually. Now over here, you would think this would be like some really cool closet space, but no. No, it's a bed. So it does come all the way out and uh, I, I would imagine it's pretty comfortable. Moving on, they do have a phone over here. However, my issue is that there is no list of numbers to dial should you need to call guest services, you need to make a, a dining reservation. I'm not exactly sure how any of that works. And then also under here, you would think this would be like maybe an outlet or some type of switch and nope, no idea what that is over there. I have no idea. Uh, anyway, we also have a chair here. It's, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, it's not the most comfortable chair I've been in, but it, it's functional. It does the job. Now, before we go over to the shelf, guys, this, in the most awkward position ever, is where the outlets are. So there's an outlet, and that's also where you would put the blow dryer or the hair dryer as well. Now, it, it, it's in an okay place, I guess, for the hair dryer because you got this big mirror here. But at the same time, like, why is that not in the bathroom? We'll check in the bathroom. I think they have one there too. And then also all over the room, there are a bunch of random switches that you don't know what they do until you press them. This one does nothing. This one regulates a little bit of the lighting in here. A little bit. Where's the switch at? Oh, oh, where's the light? There we go. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. That does make sense. This one just goes right under here. And uh, yeah, for your shelf lighting, you do have a shelf here as well. And this is a limited in dining or room service menu so they don't have a lot on here i do see they have like a quesadilla cob salad panini uh, a cheese plate with crackers that does sound pretty good i like my crackers and you can order a cheeseburger you also have a tv which is teeny tiny now on here they do have like a front facing camera in the event you want to see the front of the ship but also on channel three for us they do have all the events that are going on which i'll show you guys not it's definitely not like what you would see on Royal Caribbean or Carnival or, but however, they do have karaoke tonight. That's exactly what I'm checking out and they have a club. So it should be interesting. And I might even go to salsa night. We'll, we'll see what happens. Then definitely no mini bar. You have a fridge, which I mean, I don't think anybody touches a mini bar anyway. And uh, here, let me light this up here. I think this should be the right switch. Remember guys, there's a bunch of switch to these rooms. You have no idea what they do. It's always a surprise. What we got in here? Oh, cool. We got a safe in here and we also have the light jacket if you need it. And then also down here, there is just a ton of shelf space. Oh, there's a hairdryer as well. So now you can tell definitely a lot of this stuff is older material. But, uh, oh, and here's actually the big closet. So, I mean, it is spacious, right? You got plenty of room. You got a shelf up here. You got hangers over here plastic hangers but hey what are you gonna do not bad uh also you have a plenty of space down here as well now we're gonna get ready to go ahead and go to the bathroom because i know that's what everybody's waiting for just slide this door back here and boom not me the, the bathroom is the, the toilet of course we'll check that out obviously we know what that's for then we have the sink which i mean honestly for what it is the setup is not bad for the the bathroom all right, it's, it, we all know this is an older ship, all right? It came out in 1991, and yeah, the age does show in some areas, but I do like the, the very simplistic design of the bathroom. Now, I haven't turned the water on yet since I've been in here. Oh, look, the pressure, the pressure is not bad for the water, and I'm assuming it gets hot. I'll let you guys know later. Then you have the shower, too. Now, the shower, for what it is, is not bad either. I know, naturally, again, older ship, you would think that maybe it would be, uh, you know, not as nice. Now, of course, it's not like the newer ships, too. They don't have, like... The glass door. Of course, you got your typical shower curtains. It is what it is. You got towels in here, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the bathroom. These two switches in the front of the door. You have the main power switch, and this one actually controls the little hallway area here. So if I turn that secondary switch off, 
boom, turn it back on, there you go. We turn on the main switch, or turn it off rather, it turns off the room, okay? Boom. We're gonna walk around for a little bit, and uh, after that I'm gonna try to find some food because I'm absolutely starving, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, I have eaten here on this ship a couple times. I did go to the, the dining options, the main dining options, or specialty dining options when I was here last cruise. And overall, I do gotta say the food here was really good. I would put it on par with like NCL, to be honest with you, for the specialty dining options, which there are only two. I think we're gonna make our way up first. My room is on deck six, and we're gonna go to, let's, let's just wing it. I, I wanna try the Rock Grill. I think that's the, uh, yeah, it's the Ocean View Buffet, so I'm gonna go over there, get some food, and then after that, we'll check out the Lido deck and whatever else the ship has to offer. I like how they have the floors labeled. I'm going to Exuma. Yeah, Paradise, Treasure, huh, Bimini. Interesting. Here we are, deck 10. Nobody telling us to washy-washy. Here comes the big reveal. Huh. Interesting setup. Well, they got plenty of rice. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got over here. Ah, vegetables, more rice, some noodles, fruit. Ah, look who's here. I have been looking all over the place for these people. They left me. Did you check here? Uh, no. By the way, looks like the food is self-serve, guys. Now, I'll be honest with all of you. The food does kind of give off a little bit of a, at least for me, uh, crew bar mess kind of vibes and I love every second of it I, I love like crew food it was always delicious to me as you can see I've kind of piled it all and uh, I, I would show you eating it but it, you don't want to see that I'm, I'm literally just gonna scarf all of it down in like two seconds and then um, just another note they do close this area at around like 4 30 ish Right? No, 4.30. Yeah, so, yeah. Around 4.30, right? We sail away at 5.30, but they also have another area called the grill. That's not the whole name. I'll, I'll show you later on, but it's a grill where you can also get hot dogs, hamburgers, and I ate there last time pretty good, but they have that there whenever this one closes at 4.30. That one will remain open. It's nice to actually see people up here this time. When I was here, there was no one. Absolutely no one. I mean, it was cool because I had the whole area to myself, but I actually to see like a social setting. I do like the way they got these hot tubs designed right here on the aft. Now there's only two of them, but still it's a nice little setup. So we're gonna work our way down the stairs over to the grill and I'm gonna get the proper name. All oh, this orange is really bright. <laughs> kind of hurt my eyes a little bit. The Rock Barn, that's what it was called. Now the food here is not bad at all, but it's really simple. They got hamburgers, hot dogs, you know, just kind of like chillax food. And then, of course, you got a pretty good view. Just so you guys know, the drinks here, they're not only good. The bartenders here are extremely heavy-handed. Am I wrong? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> I'm so strong. I, I, I got just a vodka with a couple ice cubes. I got, like, three ounces of Belvedere vodka. Yeah, look. I'll see, see you in the morning. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, adios. Oh, oh, you'll sell that. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Time to sail away. Look at the view. It's gorgeous. <laughs> nice. So we did finally set sail on time. 5.30. Last sailing ever for Bahamas Paradise. And I'm on it. I'm excited. I, I barely made it. Now, the process getting here, like I said, it, it needs some work. It's valet only for parking. Uh, if you didn't get tested, they do offer testing complimentary, but at the same time, you're going to be waiting forever. It's, it's a lot of lines, and I, I am wondering, right now we are capped at 50% capacity. I don't think there's 50% of the amount of capacity on this particular sailing. However, it's probably near there, I want to say about 40%. 40 40%. The ship does hold about 1,300 passengers, so it looks like from what I've seen, just kind of being around the ship, first impressions, and just seeing, you know, just in a general overview as far as how many people are on board, I want to say maybe about a couple hundred. But anyway, um, they, they do got to work on embarkation because it was straight up trash. It needs just a little bit of work. So now that we're kind of cruising along, I just remember, I didn't give you guys any details about this cruise line. I haven't told you much at all. So Bahamas Paradise, small cruise line, they used to have two ships. They were founded back in 2014. Didn't go into operation until about 2015. They had two ships at the time. 
both this ship, the Grand Classica, and they also had the Grand Celebration. Now, they had the Grand Celebration first back in 2015. They bought this ship back in 2018. Originally, this is an old Costa ship. It was once called the Costa Neo Classica, and then eventually the Costa Classica. Like I said, sold in 2018 to Bahamas Paradise and then switched over and here we are. Now, I'll be honest with you, the ship doesn't really have a ton of stuff going on on board. When you compare it and stack it up to, let's say, the newer theme park hybrid cruise ships that are around these days, but it definitely does the job. It gives you a real authentic feel of what a cruise ship is like. I've already found the coolest people on the entire ship. First of all, where are y'all from? The Bahamas. Oh, what, what, how fitting is that? Look, so we're on Bahamas Paradise and we just met a bunch of really cool young ladies here from the Bahamas, huh? But where are y'all from in the Bahamas? I'm here from Oh, while well, I'm here, let me go check out this gym. It was under construction last time I was here. I hope it's open. I need to practice. Work out and get back in shape. All this cruise ship pizza I've been eating lately. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh. Wow! This was not here last time I came. I'm coming in here first thing in the morning, bright and early, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some break dancing, spin around, some beat bopping. I got a competition coming up. Well, a couple of them this year. Let's see what else they got in here. Oh, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, this place, this whole thing was under construction last time I was here. I always thought this was an interesting area out here. So they called this the crow's nest. And then, also, if you don't want to hang around here, you can always just kind of walk around over here. And I guess this is also doubling up as a jogging track, too. This young man right here Hi. watches my channel. Wait, so where are you from? The Bahamas. So you're from the Bahamas. So you're just visiting the U.S.? or I'm visiting going? the U.S. Oh, okay. Well, did you have a good time over there? Yes. What'd you do? We went shopping and just relaxing. So I'm going to meet up with my friends Billy and Larissa from Cruise Habit. We're going to get some dinner. We're not doing anything special today. There's only two dining options on board this ship. I've done them both. So we're going to go to the buffet. Now, right now, it's about uh, 8.05. It closes at 8.30. I know, really early. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get some food, and then we're going to see what festivities are out here for tonight. Got to tell you, it is nice to see that there's more than 100 people on this ship this time. Now, there's 200. Here we go. Ocean View Buffet. I know you guys haven't seen much of it yet, but first impression of the ship, go. Oh, uh, I like it, actually. I was kind of surprised that things feel like a little bit dated just because of the decor and the style of the yeah. ship. So it, it's nostalgic, I think, for me, but they're well maintained. I like Look, it. <laughs> Bill, Billy here is what you would call a pure blood cruiser. Been cruising, <laughs> cruising since, since before he was born. Yeah, before. He was yeah. still in the womb. Here we have the buffet. Yeah, what is this over here? So. What's that? Saute of vegetables, rosemary red skin potatoes. Huh, is that macaroni over there? I'll give it a try, why not? I'm set up for my day tomorrow in Grand Bahamas. Next, I'm gonna just go enjoy some nightlife, or if there is nightlife on this ship. I guess we'll see, won't we? So this is where everybody is. Oh, hey! Hey, the hotel director is about to play with the band. The hotel director is about to do what? Play guitar with the band. Oh! That's kind of amazing. Really wow, okay, let's see what he got. This is the couples game show. Can the couples in the house make some noise? Three, two, one, showtime. Tarzan, Tarzan, where are you? Where's Tarzan? Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. We're gonna put it between our legs. We're not gonna use our hands, we're gonna use the power of our thighs to keep it in place. Then you're gonna maneuver, and the gentlemen have a roll over here between their legs. Guys, look, they have a robot that brings you pizza. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, he just literally just, he comes right back over here and just kind of chills until somebody gives him the pizza to go take to whoever he needs to go to. Oh, look, the casino. So we do have to pass through the casino in order to get to like the club area. Casino's not all that. It's not super, super, super small, but it's not 
really that big either. Here it is, the Regal Room. So I think we're going to leave it right here. The party, surprisingly, was not bad. I had a lot of fun. There was a guy that was a little bit of a break dancer, a little bit, and we had a good time. And uh, tomorrow we're in Grand Bahama. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've been there before. Not a ton of stuff to do there. Like I said earlier, I am going to a resort, which uh, I think is what, the Viva Wyndham. I heard it was pretty good, but uh, I'll be the judge of that. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And, uh, of course, hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I got more coming. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night, and take it easy.